What happens when love turns into a chilling game of cat and mouse? This is the question that Gillian Flynn's Gone Girl poses. Welcome to the labyrinth of a modern marriage gone awry, set against the backdrop of a small Missouri town. Gone Girl, published in 2012, is a riveting blend of psychological thriller and mystery, a masterful exploration of the darker corners of relationships and a profound commentary on media influence. Its significance in contemporary literature cannot be overstated. Flynn's novel isn't just a story, it's a mirror held up to society, reflecting our deepest fears about love, trust, and the facades we maintain. The book's striking blend of genres, its complex characters, and its suspenseful narrative have made it a landmark in modern literature. So, buckle up as we delve into the mysterious world of Gone Girl. Prepare to be gripped, shocked, and perhaps even unnerved by this extraordinary tale of deceit and manipulation. At the heart of Gone Girl are two complex characters, Nick and Amy Dunn. Nick Dunn, a writer turned bar owner, is as charming as he is deceptive. He's a man of contradictions, exuding Midwestern charm while hiding a darker side. His aloof nature and questionable choices, particularly in the wake of Amy's disappearance, paint him as a potentially guilty man. Yet, as we delve deeper into Nick's psyche, we unearth a more nuanced character caught in a web of lies and trapped in a loveless marriage. Amy Elliott Dunn, on the other hand, is a character study in perfection and pretense. Born into privilege, Amy is a New York native, a quiz whiz, and the inspiration behind her parents' successful Amazing Amy book series. However, beneath her perfect exterior lies a manipulative and cunning woman. Amy's diary entries reveal her as a master of deception, adept at crafting narratives that serve her purpose. Their marriage, once a picture of urban sophistication, soon descends into a cesspool of resentment, infidelity, and deception. The Duns are not just husband and wife. They are adversaries in a twisted game of cat and mouse. Their marital discord serves as the engine that drives the plot forward, keeping readers on the edge of their seats. One of the most intriguing aspects of Gone Girl is the concept of unreliable narrators. Both Nick and Amy offer their perspectives on their relationship and the events surrounding Amy's disappearance. Yet, as the story unfolds, we begin to question their credibility. Who's telling the truth? Who's lying? Flynn brilliantly uses this narrative device to keep us guessing, adding layers of complexity to the characters and the plot. Nick and Amy Dunn, two flawed characters whose twisted love story keeps us on our toes. Their multifaceted personalities and volatile relationship form the crux of Gone Girl, making it a riveting exploration of the dark side of marriage and the devastating consequences of deception. In Gone Girl, the plot isn't served on a silver platter. Instead, it unravels like a coiled spring, keeping readers on edge. There's a delicious tension that Gillian Flynn maintains throughout the narrative, a sense of unease that keeps you turning the pages, hungry for more. The story is structured in two parts. The first part introduces us to the Dunn's seemingly perfect marriage, which quickly crumbles when Amy goes missing on their fifth wedding anniversary. As readers, we're left in the dark, just as much as the protagonist, Nick. We're given glimpses of Amy through her diary entries, painting a picture of a happy, loving wife. But as the investigation into her disappearance intensifies, so does the suspicion on Nick. The second part of the novel is where Flynn really flexes her storytelling muscles. It's revealed that Amy is not only alive, but has orchestrated her disappearance to frame Nick. The diary entries? All part of Amy's master plan, this revelation is a seismic shift in the narrative, transforming Amy from a victim into a villain. Flynn pulls the rug from under our feet, forcing us to question everything we thought we knew about these characters. But Flynn doesn't stop there. She continues to twist and turn the narrative, revealing more layers to Amy's character and her calculated plan. The suspense is a constant companion as Flynn expertly navigates the labyrinthine plot, the tension simmering beneath the surface, ready to explode at any moment. The beauty of Flynn's storytelling lies in its unpredictability. Just when you think you've got a handle on the narrative, she introduces another twist, another revelation that leaves you reeling. Yet, at the heart of it all, there's a dark exploration of marriage and the masks we wear. The plot is more than just a series of shocking twists. It's a commentary on relationships, identity, and the lengths one might go to maintain an illusion of perfection. And just when you think you've figured it all out, Flynn throws in another curveball. Gone Girl isn't just about a missing woman, it's a dissection of marriage, deception, and identity. 
These themes woven intricately throughout the narrative are what make Gillian Flynn's novel a truly gripping psychological thriller. Let's delve into the theme of marriage first. Gone Girl presents an unflinching portrayal of matrimony, one that's far removed from the rosy picture often painted by popular culture. The relationship between Nick and Amy Dunn is a complex labyrinth of love, resentment, manipulation, and betrayal. Their marriage is not a partnership, but a battleground, a chess game of moves and countermoves. It's a stark reminder that the person you sleep beside may be the one you know the least. Next, we navigate through the deceptive currents of the story. Deception is a constant companion in Gone Girl, lurking in the shadows of every conversation, every diary entry. It's not just about the lies the characters tell each other, but also the lies they tell themselves. This theme is a mirror, reflecting the human propensity for self-deception and the lengths we're willing to go to maintain our constructed realities. Then, we come to the theme of identity. Who is the real Amy Dunn? Is she the cool girl presented in her diary, the victim, the villain, or something else entirely? Flynn explores the fluidity of identity, how it's shaped by societal expectations and personal desires. The characters are not static, they evolve just as their identities do, leading to a narrative that's as unpredictable as its protagonists. The recurring motif of the treasure hunt also deserves a mention. It's a clever narrative device, a breadcrumb trail that serves multiple purposes. It moves the plot forward, reveals character insights, and symbolizes the constant search for truth in a world shrouded in deceit. In Gone Girl, nothing is as it seems. Every page is a new revelation, every character a mystery waiting to be unraveled. It's a testament to Flynn's masterful storytelling that these themes and motifs come together to create a novel that's not just a thrilling mystery but a thought-provoking exploration of human nature. Upon its release, Gone Girl sent shockwaves through the literary world. The novel was met with critical acclaim, hailed as a masterpiece of modern mystery literature. It was lauded for its intricate plot, complex characters, and unflinching exploration of contemporary themes. Critics praised Gillian Flynn's skillful storytelling and her unique ability to keep readers on the edge of their seats from start to finish. The book quickly rose to prominence, topping bestseller lists and becoming a cultural phenomenon. Its popularity sparked a renewed interest in the mystery genre, proving that stories of suspense and intrigue still hold a powerful allure for modern audiences. It pushed the boundaries of what a mystery novel could be, blending elements of psychological thriller and domestic drama to create something entirely new and compelling. But the influence of Gone Girl extends beyond the realm of literature. It has permeated popular culture in a way few books have managed to do. Its catchphrases have entered everyday language, and its plot twists have become a benchmark for narrative surprise. The novel's success even led to a critically acclaimed film adaptation, further cementing its status as a cultural touchstone. The legacy of Gone Girl is still felt today, nearly a decade after its release. It continues to inspire authors and captivate readers, its themes and characters resonating with a new generation of mystery enthusiasts. It has left an indelible mark not just on the mystery genre, but on the landscape of contemporary literature as a whole. In the end, the impact of Gone Girl can be summed up in one word, transformative. It challenged conventions, reshaped a genre, and forever altered the way we think about mystery stories. With Gone Girl, Gillian Flynn has undoubtedly left an indelible mark on the world of mystery literature. As we come to the end of our exploration, one thing is clear. Gone Girl isn't your typical mystery novel. It's a labyrinth of deceit, a story that sinks its claws into you and refuses to let go. We've delved into the troubled relationship of Nick and Amy Dunn, dissected the novel's suspenseful narrative structure and key plot twists, and analyzed the themes of marriage, deception, and identity. We've also acknowledged its critical reception and impact on the mystery genre and popular culture. This is a novel that transcends the boundaries of its genre, a story that continues to resonate with readers years after its publication. The enduring appeal of Gone Girl lies in its intricate plot, its complex characters, and its unflinching exploration of the darker aspects of human nature. So, the next time you pick up Gone Girl, remember, every page holds a new secret, a new revelation, a new mystery waiting to be unraveled. Thank mm -hmm. you.